Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. The real problem in America. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Now, last night we had a very lively debate here about the repeal of Obamacare. Republicans in the House are going to drive that, even though they know the president will veto any repeal measure. Many factor viewers have emotion invested in the repeal of the federal health care takeover. It symbolizes to them all that is wrong in America an intrusive federal government, a curtailing of individual freedom, and an assault on the free marketplace. Obamacare is a powerful divide between conservatives and liberals, no question. But it is not, it is not the most important issue facing Americans right now. Massive government spending is, and of course Obamacare is part of that. According to data assembled by CBS News, over the past four years since the Democrats have controlled Congress, the amount of money that the USA owes has increased by an astounding 5.2% trillion dollars. That is simply unsustainable. Right now, every American citizen owes about $45,000 each to folks who lent this country money or to the Fed. President Bush could have vetoed the big spending bills. He did not. And his successor, President Obama, has embraced spending at record levels. This must stop. And liberal Americans must also stop distorting the situation. Deficit reduction has been a high priority for us. It is our mantra, pay as you go. That is simply not true. It is an outrageous spin. I'm not going to call a woman a liar. But it, what she said is flat out not true. I can't assign a motive that Nancy Pelosi, I can't read her mind. But anybody believing that is a moron. While Congress is fighting over Obamacare this week, I hope some of these people are putting together legislation that will cut federal spending by 25% over the next three years, just about 8% a year. Let's see if Ms. Pelosi would support that. Because if the United States continues to run up debt, our economy will collapse, and there's not going to be any bailout for us. We're not Greece or Ireland. It is long past time to stop the social justice nonsense and speak clearly to the folks. Federal government cannot afford to provide cradle to grave entitlements. It cannot afford to run around the world spending billions of dollars in places like Iraq and Afghanistan. It cannot afford the far left vision of income redistribution using punitive taxation on business and the affluent. And it can no longer afford to allow foreign citizens to live here without proper documentation. All of that must stop right now. If we have to fight, let's fight smart. No more cars eyes, no more nation building. Poor Americans should be provided free educational opportunities and or vocational training. If they reject those opportunities, they're on their own. If they're addicted, help should be available, but not entitlements. Secure the border once and for all and stop with the liberal creed that the government should provide. This country was not founded on that, period. Nancy Pelosi, Harry Reid, President Obama and other powerful liberal politicians should get this simple message. We tried it your way. It didn't work. We are now heading for disaster. And that's a memo. Now for the top story tonight.